Here's tips and tricks with Tyler and Terry. Hey, guys. Grain control. The more you know. Huh. That ain't your daddy's grain control sensor. Donnie, the, the sensor can do more. Huh. Mm. Hey, man. You talking in your sleep again. We didn't tell Donnie everything the grade control sensors could do. Seriously? Yeah, we gotta go. Well, let's go. Donnie, Donnie, before you start paving, before you start paving, we went over the basics of grade control, but we didn't go over all the other cool things it can do. You got ground mode, single eye mode, and we have string line mode on this bad boy. All right, man, I've heard about a couple of those, but you're gonna have to slow down and actually do some explaining. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I mean, like, like he said, we do have all those, but you're, you're used to those. The ground and the string line you've got. But we do have a new feature, and it's gonna be our single eye sensor. So it's gonna be one eye is gonna be active on that sensor, and this can easily be turned on through our parameters from your dealer. You just gotta get them called out and come and turn it on. It's a great for one-to-one, -one, man. Oh yeah, that's right. So if you're looking for curb reveal, or if you're looking to maintain a tight joint, that's the sensor I would select. Okay, follow on a joint, got it. That's right. Tyler, tell them about the sensitivity. All right, so we also have sensitivity that you can control. So you can go in here and you can actually increase your sensitivity to nine, which will make the sensor react quicker, or you can lower it down to zero, which will slow it down. So five is what we have at standard. So if you got a tow point cylinder that's going up and down, it's hunting, take it down a notch. And just like we need to take you down a notch. A few, I think. And if it's not making a grade control adjustment on time, you go up one notch. Mm -hmm. Any questions on that so far, Donnie? No, that sounds great. Is there anything else I need to know? Todd, Todd, tell them more about the lights. We got, there's more things the lights can do over there. Yeah, oh yeah. So let's go over here and we'll talk about sensor placement because the lights can actually help you and adjust the height of it so you get a different reaction out of it. Come on, okay. let's go. Let's, come on, come on over here. Okay, calm down, calm down. So Donnie, just like before, we told you that the two dots mm -hmm. are the optimal position for the sensor. Right. But it does have a working range. And as long as you stay within that working range, we can adjust it. So right now, with all the lights lit up, we see that the sensor's out of range and it's not gonna work. So most of the time, I'll bring it up to this second dot right here. This reduces the surface area or the area which wind can pass underneath the sensor and can affect your grade or the sensor's reactivity. Okay. And also, it gets it closer to the reference. So if you're paving hot on hot, it actually will receive those sound waves a lot easier because we both know that uh, sound wave and heat can affect how this sensor reacts. So not only that, we can actually come up and we can come all the way up to the top here and this is gonna make our working range a lot bigger. So ideally, again, we always want it right here with the two dots. Okay. Yeah. That's why those lights are there. It shows you the complete operation of the window there. Yep, so you don't have to keep your tape measure with you. All right, that sounds great. So any more questions? Uh, yeah, is there a way to calm him down? What? No more coffee for you, buddy. Man, I only had two cups. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I need you off the job site, man. I need to get to work. We'll see you later, buddy. See I ya. feel so much better that we gave him all the info.